Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. There's 90 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be focusing on the topic of frequency trees. Now I might be a bit biased but I actually really enjoy frequency tree questions, I find them quite fun, um, I like them and in this video I'm going to go through how to answer some frequency tree questions and then you'll have some to try yourself and I hope you find it useful. So let's get started. Okay, so today's topic is frequency trees, and I really like this topic. It's a statistics topic, and here we've got a frequency tree, and it says over a week, 50 patients visit a doctor. So 50 patients visit a doctor over the course of a week. Some of them have morning appointments, and some of them have evening appointments, and some of them are on time, and some of them are late. And we've got this frequency tree, and we've been asked to complete the frequency tree. So we know who the 50 patients went to visit the doctor. So 37 had evening appointments. So that means the rest must have had morning appointments. So what we were going to do is we're going to take 37 away from 50. So we're going to do 50 take away 37. And that's equal to 13. So that means that 13 of the patients had morning appointments. Now let's find out how many were late and how many were on time. So in terms of the morning appointments, there's 13 people that went to morning appointments and six of them were late. That means the rest of them were on time. So if we do 13 take away six, that's equal to seven. So that means that seven of them were on time. So seven were on time and six were late. In terms of the evening appointments, 34 of them were on time and the rest were late. Now there's 37 of them all together and if 34 on time, if we do 37 take away 34, 37 take away 34, that's equal to three. So that means that three of them were late. And that's it, that's our frequency tree. So we've completed it and we can check it. 13 plus 37 is equal to 50. The seven plus six is equal to 13 morning appointments and the 34 plus three is equal to 37. So that's it, we've completed the frequency tree. And as I said, I like these questions. So the next one says that 44 people work for a company. So 44 people work for a company and they either travel by bus or by car. And 18 of the 20 people who travel by bus were on time, and 7 people who travelled by car were late. Part A says complete the frequency tree. So have a pause of the video now and have a go at filling out this frequency tree using this information. See if you can fill out this frequency tree using this information. Okay, so first of all we're told that 44 people work for the company, so I'm going to put 44 in here. And they travel by bus or car, so that we can't actually put any numbers in for there. 18 of the 20 people who travelled by bus were on time. So 20 people travelled by bus and 18 were on time. So in terms of the bus, we know that there's 20 altogether that travel by bus, so we're going to put 20 there. And it says that 18 were on time, so 18 of them were on time. And if 18 were on time, the rest were late, that would be 2. So it would be a 2 there. And if we just check, 18 plus 2 is 20, and 20 of them travel by bus. That's fantastic. Okay, let's have a look at this part of the tree diagram now. 7 people who travelled by car were late. So 7 people who travelled by car, so travelling by car and late, 7 of them were late. Okay, let's fill in these numbers. So we know there's 44 people altogether and 20 travelled by bus. So 44 take away 20 is equal to 24. So it means that 24 travelled by car. 7 were late, that means the rest were on time, so if we do 24 take away 7, that's equal to 17. So that means there's 17 of them were on time. And that's it, so we've completed the frequency tree, we've done part A. Okay, let's carry on the question. So we're told a person is picked at random, so one of the 44 people that work for the company is picked at random. And the question says, write down the probability that this person travelled by car and was on time. Okay, feel free to pause the video now and to give this a try yourself. Okay, so one of the 44 people's picked at random, so we know it's going to be out of 44. And we want to find the probability that the person travelled by car and was on time. So if we look at travelled by car and was on time, there's 17 of those people. So that means out of the 44 people, 17 of them travelled by car and were on time. So the probability of a person being picked at random, being travelled by car and on time, will be 17 out of 44. And that's it. So 17 out of the 44. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our last question. So our last question says, 400 sandwiches are prepared for a picnic. So 400 sandwiches are prepared for a picnic. And a quarter of the tuna sandwiches are made with white bread. I was going to write a quarter of the tuna sandwiches were made on white bread. And I was thinking, how can you make a sandwich on white bread if the sandwich includes the bread? Anyway, so we've then got this frequency tree. And the question says, what fraction of the sandwiches were made with brown bread or made on brown bread? So we've been asked to find the fraction of the sandwiches that are made on brown bread or with brown bread. So here's our frequency tree. What I want you to do is I want you to pause this video now and to try this question yourself and see if you can do it. Okay, so we've got the frequency tree. We know there's 400 sandwiches altogether and 168 sandwiches are tuna sandwiches. Let's work out how many cheese sandwiches there are. So if we take 168 away from 400, so if we do 400, take away 168, that'll tell us how many cheese sandwiches there are. So we're going to need to borrow, so that's now a 3 and a 10, cross that off now, that's now a 9 and a 10. So 10 take away 8 is equal to 2, 9 take away 6 is equal to 3, and 3 take away 1 is equal to 2. That means it's 232 cheese sandwiches. 
Now, also, we can work out how many cheese sandwiches were made on brown bread because we know that 150 of these sandwiches were made on white bread. So if we do 232 take away 150, that'll tell us how many cheese sandwiches are made with brown bread or on brown bread. So 2 take away 0 is 2. We're going to need to borrow here, so that's now a 1 and 13. 13 take away 5 is 8, and 1 take away 1 is 0. So that's going to mean that there's going to be 82 cheese sandwiches made with brown bread. Okay, now we need to go up here and have a look at this part. So we don't have any of these numbers, but we were told a key bit of information here with this line. It says a quarter of the tuna sandwiches, so a quarter of these sandwiches were made with white bread. So we need to divide this by four. So we need to do 168 to find a quarter of it, we're going to divide by four. So how many fours go into one? Zero remainder one. How many fours go into 16? That's four. And how many fours go into eight? That's two. So that means that a quarter of them were made with white bread. So that means that 42 of them were made with white bread. And the rest of them were made with brown bread. So if we do 168, so 168, subtract 42, that'll tell us how many tuna sandwiches were made with brown bread. So 8 take away 2 is equal to 6, 6 take away 4 is equal to 2, and 1 take away 0 is equal to 1. So that's 126. Now the question said, what fraction of the sandwiches were made with brown bread? So let's see how many sandwiches were made with brown bread altogether. So that would be these sandwiches, they're made with brown bread, and these sandwiches are made with brown bread. So if we add those together, that'll tell us how many brown bread sandwiches Sandwiches there are. And I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. So I'm going to do 126 plus 82. And that'll tell us how many brown bread sandwiches there are. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. So put a 0 down and carry a 1. And 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So that means there's 208 sandwiches made with brown bread. And that means the rest were made with white bread. And the question is what fraction of the sandwiches were made with brown bread? So that's going to be out of the 400 sandwiches. 208 were made with brown bread. So it's going to be 208 four hundredths. So that's our fraction, that 208 four hundredths of the sandwiches were made with brown bread. But I'm going to cancel this time. So dividing both of these numbers by 2 would give us 104 out of 200. We can divide by 2 again, that's going to be 52 out of 100. We could divide by 2 again, that's going to be 26 out of 50. And we can divide by 2 again, that's going to be 13 25ths. So that means that 13 25ths of the sandwiches were made with brown bread. And if you got that, well done, you've done really well on that question. And that's it. So today we've been focused on frequency trees. It's very important that you be able to answer questions on frequency trees and the questions then they might follow on after them. So for instance, it might be, you know, what fraction of the class are left-handed and questions like that. So you can more express things as fractions or percentages and things like that. You might also maybe perhaps get a probability question involved as well. So it's important that you have a look at those practice questions in the description below and you give those questions a try on frequency trees. But I really hope you find this video useful. Um, remember to be doing your five a days. So be having a look at the numeracy five a days and the foundation five a days. And if you're pushing for that grade four or five, maybe you also have a look at those Foundation Plus five videos as well. So there's 90 days to go to CGCC Maths exams. Keep up the hard work. Uh, tomorrow at three o'clock will be the next video. All the best. Cheers. Bye.